That's why we, we're all urging each other to do it. You've made your money out of other suffering. You've laughed at all this pain. You claim to be an activist. You're reading excerpts out of a book. You're a serious narcissist. You're laughing at others and they cannot see it. I work with mental health and you, sir, disgust me. Oh, trees are Dunlop. I'm going to invite you. Come on, Teresa. Come on. You can come on and have a pop at me if you want. You don't have to just type it in the little comments box there. Come on. Come on. Teresa, you can't just give a comment like that. Oh, we've got her. Hiya, Teresa. All right? Hi, how are you? I'm all right, thanks. Thanks for Good. your comments. No problem whatsoever. I've actually been trying to come on for a little while, actually. Have you? Okay. Yeah, I have, seriously. Actually, when you first came on, I actually did admire you, and I'll admit that. But I think you've taken it too far, I'll be Take honest. What too far? I, I think you're laughing, and I think you're jeering at other people's pain. I think the way that you sit there and you seem to glorify yourself, uh, other people's suffering, I think, is disgusting. I've worked with mental health and I've done it for many years and I've worked on security units and I know what it's like to work with people that seriously do suffer with addiction, with alcoholism, with drug addiction, with all sorts. And believe me, I've never seen anyone ever, ever go into a recovery and then behave like you are right now. Your laughing, sir, is disgusting. I saw, your, can you I saw your video earlier on of when you were laughing at whoever that person was that snapped his leg and you were giggling like a banshee and you, you know were saying guy, you know karma. You were saying karma, but yeah, do you, you know really that, believe... Do you know who that guy is? Right, listen, do you think that no, two no, no, rights no, 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 wrong? No. You can't come on my show and not give you know you can, you cannot answer my questions. So I'm going to ask right, you something. You know who that individual is who I'm talking about? You tell me. Right, he has he has absolutely attacked me and my family, my partner, my children for the last year. He runs a page okay. called Chits that is all honed in on my life on a daily basis. He goes on and attacks me. Yep, every single day. So when I heard he broke his leg. It was fucking great news for me, that. And I don't care what you think about my recovery. I show people how to recover well. I don't show you people do? how to recover and sit in recovery <laughs> meetings and, and, and therapy do? and sessions for the rest of their life. I recover right. to get a bridge back to a form of good living. And this okay. is what I'm doing today. I'm showing people so how to recover well. You, you, think, you think, then, your behaviour that you display is of a normal sound mind at times, do you? Or do no you chance. think that... I'm... I'm that? No chance, I'm not of sound mind. On a daily basis, I, I try and work. On a, on a daily basis, I work to better myself by praying, meditating and helping others. And that's all I've done for the last six years on these shows. But I but will never... Saying... I, then, well, let me speak, let me speak. I am not a doormat. I did not recover to be a doormat by man or woman. If somebody gives me shit, I don't pray for them. I tell them to fuck off. And that is something that I'll even tell my ch children to do. If you are a spiritual person that minds their own business, that does not fucking go at no one, if somebody insults you and goes at you, you can tell them to fuck off as a human being. That's a problem today. Too many people Wait, like yeah. yourself... Sometimes, sometimes though, sometimes when that person is actually going at you, sometimes that's when they're actually seeking help the most. I've heard it all before. I've heard all that bullshit before. Yeah, what's but if you you a real activist for mental what, health, what, what, yeah, no, no, tell no, 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 no. I, I, okay, will, okay, I will not me. stick up for someone. Where, I will not stick up for you, someone. I will not stick up for somebody that homes in on people's children and people's partners, and people's affairs, and absolutely right. attacks, them, attacks them on a daily basis. 
I don't care whether he's poorly or not no more and whether these people are. They are sick. I'm fucking sick. So does that give them does that give them an excuse to come at me and my children and my family but on a daily basis? But does that give you the excuse to behave like you do on social media and then actually scream and shout and cry when somebody actually confronts you like I'm doing now about your behaviour? Scream and cry. I'm not. I'm not crying. I'm talking to you as a as a as a human being. You're coming at me with something with your comment. I'm actually so surprised I'm you haven't back. blocked me yet. Listen, I'm not. I don't need to block you, but you've come at me over something I said about someone's broken leg. Okay, I get it. Yeah. What else have you got? What else have you got? Yeah, what absolutely. Got? I have come at you over that, and this this is your this is your thing. You see, this is your modus operandi. And if people actually know psychology, then they'll understand what that means. You, sir, you have a modus operandi, and you see, I read people for a living, and that's what I do. Now, I'm you best. are I'm a typical narcissist. You are, without an absolute doubt, you are preying on other people's issues. You are preying on the vulnerable. I have not actually seen, as of yet, or seen any great thing that's been put anywhere about the shimmy shiny and about what you have actually done other than what you say. So where is all this evidence? You, Where's do you, all the go money? Do you, go and do your research. What money? My money. My, my, my business got destroyed last year. year. Do you not know, love? My page got destroyed last year, one year ago. I, I haven't got no money. Really? I don't earn money off social media. So what? Cool. So why don't you do your research? So Check out BBC. One minute, one minute. Let me speak. BBC Manchester commended me throughout lockdown for running a daily and nightly show for people with mental health and addictions. Be quiet, or you can carry on if you want. It doesn't matter. The MEN okay. commended me and my page for what I did on a daily basis. So are you trying to say to me that all I've been, I've done for years hasn't helped anybody? So that's amazing then, isn't it? So then let's bring that question. So we're going to bring that right back. Okay, so I'm going to shoot this right back. You say they commended you. So what about all the very beginning at this coronavirus when you, when you lobbied for all of those people's freedoms of rights, when you were out on the streets, when you led your little right troops? I was. Right? I was. So why don't hey, we go back to you, the have you done that? You Have you done that? that? Are you one of them? Actually, are you one of them I tell you what. That? I tell you, you what. I'm one, one of them. I'm one of them. Yeah, I'm one of them. Well, listen, I am not no activist. I'm one what of them. I did, I stuck up for people's rights. I stuck up for people's freedoms. And I deplore people like you. I deplore people like you. I'm actually staying on a machine to stay alive. People like you are the reason on why we've got problems like we have today. And that's why you've got such a hatred. That's why people dislike you so intently. And you see, your smirk, that says it all, sir. That says it all. Now we're going to go for this, you see, because this is what you do. You give that like, and then you tweak your little eyebrow, and then you right, do okay, that. Okay. You see, this okay, is, this is typical of someone to no, just no, like no, you. No, go no, on, no, block no, me. Go no, on. Because I'm reading spoke. you right now, so block me. You spoke it, right, right. So you're, you're a typical person that overpowers people conversation you're a controlling woman you're a control freak you probably Absolutely. weren't with vulnerable people. let me speak let me you just Absolutely. give me shit you probably were with vulnerable people <laughs> to make you feel to make you feel better about yourself more empowering wonderful. you've got it more together wonderful. wonderful so when i was doing the march for valleys two years ago why was i doing them yeah. i was doing it for people's freedoms that was locked up like animals like animals to try me? to lock us up me. They, you, were, they were actually we were locking locked. people up to keep people alive, you bloody donut. Oh, this, is, you're you're wrong doing it. this is a recovery show. This is not, this is not the pandemic show or the lockdown what, yeah, show. You, 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 you've mentioned it. You've mentioned it. You said that you I were doing you it for people. I bet you watched the news every night. I bet you watched the news every night. I bet it you was about listen, your listen, power, about your life, your heart. That's what that was about. And that's all it's ever been about. We've gone from your likes to your hearts, from your socks to your books. What's it going to be next? What's it going to be next? What, what you are. You know what you are? You're a fan. You're a fan. That's what you are. You're a fan of me, but you just fucking hate me because I'm doing great in life. Oh, that's the truth. okay. Okay, so others aren't doing well, great in life. Impressing your boyfriend? Who are you impressing? Huh? Are you impressing your boyfriend? They're talking to me like that. 
What, impressing my boyfriend? I don't need I don't need to impress him, trust me, because I'm you big enough to look after you myself. You've come uh, on, you've come on to try and do psycho psychological bullshit with me, and it's not one, you just spoke a right load of bullshit. That, that's why it's winding you up, because you don't like the fact that I've sussed you out, Sean. I'm not wound up, I don't know. That's don't, why, you're so why are you so like defensive. Why are you so defensive? Why are you so defensive? defensive. Why, why am I defensive? Yeah, you you're fucking serious, defensive. why am I defensive? Somebody, right, I tell you what, stop, stop, laughing, stop laughing at me now, and I'll be serious with you. Why am I so defensive on. on social media? Have you got any children? Have you got I've children? Got two. I've got two and a grandchild. Okay. So, so would you appreciate your children as absolutely being attacked, maybe even followed and had pictures taken of her? Or your partner being, being the message on a daily basis? Definitely not. Your mother, no. have you got a mother? Have you got a mother? Would you like your mother no, to be insulted said. by these people? So you wonder no, why, I, why I get defensive. Right, okay. Sorry about that. Why do you wonder I get defensive with people like you when you come on and try and give me shit? Because you're fucking getting no, back every time. Because I'm not one to take shit. shit. Not, not, I haven't mentioned your children. No, you see, I've not mentioned your I kids. Mentioned I, to you. I, come I on. mentioned it to you. I'm mentioning it to you. You've asked me why, why I get on the defensive. And why? I haven't mentioned it to you. Why? Are you deaf? I've just explained why. why. I mean, at the end of the day, we, we, we are having a conversation. We're having a conversation. I'm not having a conversation You're with your family. You're not having a conversation with me. I'm not I'm having a conversation, having a conversation with you. You've come on to try and get smart. You've come on to try and act all psychological. You've invited calling me. Calling me a narcissist. Calling me you a narcissist. Me. That's exactly what you are. That's exactly You do know what the definition you of a narcissist traits. is, don't you? A definition. I am a narcissist, or have I got traits of a narcissist? You need to be very careful what you say. I said you know what you sound to like a... You're a what is a narcissist? A real narcissist? You know what a definition what of a narcissist mean? is, don't you? What is it? Right, a okay, so a definition of a narcissist is someone who has to be in control, somebody who has to be in the fortune of attention, somebody just like yourself who has to put themselves out there, who has to be seen, who has to be heard, who has to be glorified. They glorify their own selves and they glorify their own minds because nobody else can be right. Only their opinions is right. Nobody else's matter, only the themselves and when is somebody then even so much is determined to think about like i've done challenge you on what your views are and how you laugh at others you get defensive because they don't like defensive. to be challenged because they cannot you, be you wrong asking, you, you are asking who i laughed at and i told you and i will laugh till the fucking cows come home at people like that 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 absolutely try their hardest to destroy families my relation, listen, my family, was tr they tried to destroy my family, my relationship with my partner, my business that they did destroy, they would love yeah. nothing more than to me to relapse and probably commit suicide. They love nothing more than that. So don't you come at me calling me a narcissist from what you see on here. So now How dare now you come on here with suicide. a, a you professional are soul? Disgusting. Do you know that? How dare you talk about suicide? You say you're there to help people. Now you're showing your real colours, Shiny. Do you remember what you just said well, in that last sentence? Me. You don't even know my fucking name. You don't even know my name. Shiny, I don't really care to know your name. I don't really care to so, know so your name, you personally. You seem to claim to know a lot. So you if see, I've just mentioned me, me say, committing suicide, that's the problem. You're full of shit, you lady. You're full of shit. Excuse me. You sat Excuse there with me. your red lipstick on and you died there. You're full of shit. Oh, I didn't realise this was died. Sorry. I, I don't Fucking care. Hell. Listen, just because Sorry. you're a woman, you've come on here. You've come on here. Sorry. You're, you're a fantasist. You're a fantasist like you're somebody clever. You're absolutely balmy. Look at you. You're nuts. Yes, I am. You see, that's probably because I am clever. That's probably why. And you, what, sir, what, do not job? like. You don't like to be confronted. Answer me, answer me. I you want to keep on the show. Look, I, no, what's don't, your don't, don't job? Right. Okay, so what is your job like? I have two businesses. I am a legal what? forensic accountant. I also have a garage business. Prior to that, I was a mental health nurse. Anything else you'd right, like to know? No more. Why, why did you get no. sacked or why did you get a job? I didn't get sacked. I got left after being raped and tortured by a sex offender in 2011 oh, on the 3rd of May. Oh, bye, bye, bye. You're obviously nuts. I'm just not having that. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm not having the rest of the bullshit she's just come out with. She's a fantasist.
yeah, like a lot of them are today. They wake up, and all of a sudden, they've worked in mental health, the psychologist, and they're going to come on and challenge me. I get emails off a load of cranks saying, I need to know this, and I need to know that. Listen, when you're signing on the dole, and you're not working, and you're just out there hating people on social media, you've not got a job. I'm sorry, you've not got a job. That lady that was just on, she's not got a garage. I don't, not for one minute I believe that. And whatever else her other job was. I just do not believe it. So, the truth is, she's got on to a few things that I've done. She called me Shiner. What does that tell you? She doesn't even fucking know me. She's come on, she's seen me doing the rally the other year. And she's had me in her mind all that time. Do you know why? Because she's one of them. <coughs> That's the truth. She had the vaccine a couple of times and she's pissed off with people like me that just didn't do it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs>